Hello everyone, now welcome back. So in the previous video, we have discussed about what are IAM users and groups. And in this video, we'll be creating a group and then we'll be assigning a user to that particular group. And then we'll be logging into that AWS console using that particular uh, user that we have created. So let's go, uh, let's go ahead and see how it uh, works. So initially uh, I'm in uh, identity and access management uh, console. So for this, you can just click the services and uh, down here, go to security, identity and uh, compliance. And here you can see I am. So just click that. So that is how I have redirected uh, to this particular uh, console. So once you have, uh, once you are here, then click users. So right now there is only one user that I've created just 17 minutes ago. He's in the admin group. So let's go ahead and create some other user. Let's call it as Ravi and we'll be creating a user, uh, I mean, uh, a group. Let's see, uh, let's go ahead and start. So in this case, let's go ahead and uh, add Ravi. And in this case, I'll be providing access to my AWS uh, management console. So for that, I have to click this. So in this case, uh, one option is specify a user uh, in identity center, which is recommended, or you can just create a IAM user. So in this case, I'll be preferring the second one. So auto generator, or I'll just add here. So I'm just adding a password. Done. So it's done. So users must create a new password at the next sign in. So we'll be also looking into this one as well. So once we have created this user and we have given appropriate permissions, then we'll try to log in uh, using this user and change the password. So let's go ahead and uh, click next. And uh, here, let's add the user to the group. Right now we have uh, admin group. Let's say I, I don't want uh, this person to be in admin group. So let's go ahead and create other group. And these are uh, various permission policies that we have. So right now it's administrator access, or uh, you can see here the access that it has the JSON format. So we have discussed about uh, the JSON format in the previous videos, like how to read this and everything related to that. So let's select any one of these. So maybe let's select the second one. So basically the first one is like giving all the permissions. So you can see here, so it's nothing but you're allowing everything. So. But in this case, I'm just selecting the second one. So let's go ahead and create a group. So in this case, uh, let's add it as admin, uh, or let's say sample admin. So let's go ahead and create that. So we have created a sample admin group. And in this case, I'll select the second one. So right now I'm uh, assigning that uh, user called Ravi to this particular group name called sample admin. Right. So uh, you can also set the permission boundaries. Uh, but in this case, I'm just leaving it uh, default, uh, the one that we have selected. So let's go to the next one. So everything is done. If you want, you can add the tags here just to remember uh, this user. Uh, in this case, I'll just leave it uh, default and create the user. So right now it's creating, so it's done. So let's go to the console and uh, log in to that particular user that we have created. So coming to the IAM name, it's Ravi. And uh, the password, let's add the password. And once we log into this, uh, we'll be getting a prompt of password reset since we have uh, applied that when we are creating the user. So let's sign in. So you can see IAM user is Ravi and uh, let's add the old password and uh, a new password. Confirm. So you see here, we have logged into using uh, this Ravi and we have the perm admin permissions that we have given to this particular user. So this is how you can create a user and give appropriate permissions to that uh, particular user uh, so that he can uh, use that for his job duties. So coming to this video, I hope you guys have understood the concept of today's video of creating a user and assigning that user to a particular group. So everyone, uh, I hope you guys have understood the concept of today's video. If you have liked the video, please click the like button below. And if you've not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video. Thanks everyone.